and you have this opportunity now. And I, if you got that out of you, I would love to pick your brain about the announcement that was made on Tuesday as we record this on Wednesday, um, that you will be driving the number 30 ride for Ray Hall Letterman Land again. Formerly, uh, our pal Jack Harvey was a driver in that car. Yes. And you will be in that ride uh, for the Gateway race coming up um, a week and a half from now. Now, I know that you've been out at the racetrack, um, that you were out there a little bit over the weekend, obviously in Indy. Um, how did this How did this come about, man? Can you take us through kind of uh, the ins and the outs and kind of like we did almost in a way with the Meyer Shank, Simon Pagano timeline? Is there a timeline maybe that you can provide us of events of how it went down here with RLL? Because, I mean, I, I, you know, there have been rumors that Jack – maybe would would not get to finish the season that you see on Twitter and stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm sitting there shopping for, for new eyeglasses yesterday and <laughs> all of a sudden I get a few handful, handful of people text me and I'm like, Whoa, what is this? You know, it's like, you know, I just get like CD or like Connor, did you see? I'm like, what the hell is going on? And yeah. I check Twitter and I see that. And it was like, Oh damn. Like, you know, I had to, I had to tell the person to help me out my eyeglasses. I was like, I need a second real quick to like see what's <laughs> going on here. Um, so can you take us through that at all? Yeah. You know, I, I, I definitely can't speak, uh, to the, to the details too much. I, 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 but well, I, what I can say and, uh, and I, and I have, I've talked to Jack already. If there's anyone who knows exactly how he feels, it's me. Um, I, I know, uh, how this works. Um, it, you know, my situation was obviously a surprise for me, uh, it current, you know, and, and, and I, um, you know, and it's a, and it's a, it's not a good feeling. It's, it's a, it's a difficult situation. Um, and I, you know, I, I guess I just, this sport is ruthless. Like kind of the, I guess the, this episode should, should just be titled ruthless motor racing i don't know something like that but it's it's a it's a situation where you know when when i get the call um you, you have to be ready for anything right like in this sport in my current situation where i am not you know i am not currently you know full time employed by anyone you know when mike shank called me um you know that that was one of the most enjoyable experiences that i got to have in my career is driving for mike shank racing you know driving for that that organization um, but again, you know, things, uh, you know, things happen, situations change. Um, I will never forget my experience with Mike Shank racing. I, I, I think, you know, Mike is someone who I have a lot of respect for. And again, it was a week by week thing and, and, and weeks go by and things change every day. And when I got this call, um, you know, my life changed. I was like, Whoa, all right. Um, you know, yeah. Like I, I obviously had to say yes. Um, and you know, the fact that it, it does, uh, you know, replace a, a, a friend of mine, a, a former teammate of mine, uh, a friend of ours, friend of the show, uh, Jack Harvey, um, you know, that is, that is tough. But again, the, these teams make decisions for, uh, for the future. Obviously the season is almost ending. They want to figure out where, what their future looks like, of course. Um, and, and I would love to be a part of any team's future at the moment. Uh, but you know, the Ray Hall Letterman Lanigan organization is one team, which is crazy. But I, I've now driven for everyone except for Penske and Ganassi. So, like, Ray Hall is a group that I have not been a part of before. I, I do not know how that organization works. I, I know that they had an incredible weekend. They've had a great couple weekends, the last couple weekends. Um, you know, they Their second half on- of the season is really, I mean, big. I think you can make the argument that they've really been the star of the show. I mean, it's from from where the they were the first half. Yes, yeah, from where they were at St. Pete, and then with Indy, obviously, and then now where they've been with with Toronto and and over the weekend and Mid Ohio with Graham, you know, up on the on the front row. Uh, I mean, really, really impressive stuff. Yeah, absolutely, and 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 you know, I I have to thank them for the chance. You know, I I call Bobby. Uh, I, I'd say in in July. Um, you know, asking if they could run an extra car at, at Nashville because I had some people that were trying to run, uh, you know, trying to sponsor me for Nashville, trying to run an extra car. Obviously, they had run, you know, an extra car. Um, and 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 Bobby was like, "Hey, man, we gotta. I think we gotta, 
you know, they're, they're we're trying to figure out a few things. You know, we're trying to make sure that we, you know, we get our performance on track. And I, and I got to give Bobby, I mean, they did, they've done a great job. And, and, and the fact that Bobby still, you know, called me and, and Steve Erickson, those guys, uh, you know, to, to do this job, obviously it's just one race. Um, but it's a track that I know very well. It's a track that I've had a lot of success at. Um, and you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm extremely thankful for this opportunity. I mean, I've known Mike Lanigan for forever. David Letterman has been a great friend of my father's for a long time. Uh, you know, and David's been a very, very great supporter of mine for a long time. He's always been friendly to me. Um, and, and I mean, I've known Graham since I was a kid. I mean, great. I mean, I've, I've known Graham for forever. It seems like my mom is best friends with Graham's mom. Like this is just, it's a, it's just kind of an odd situation that we're kind of all united here. Um, but it's a tough situation. You know, again, it's a situation you can't go to the comments, right? There, everyone's got their opinion on why it's happening. And Jack has a ton of supporters that, of course, will, you know, live and die by whatever, you know, each each driver has their supporters. And, and I feel bad that this situation has to happen. I hate it. But yeah, I, no, I, I, I <laughs> like we, we we hate it. But we but it's we the worst. As, it's like this the is worst what we possible. do. It's yeah, this, but we have, if I have a situation, I have to drive, you know, just like, like Ryan Hunter Ray, he sent me a very nice text, even though I, you know, we've had our comings togethers now in, 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 in Iowa, but he did send me a, a nice text, uh, you know, a little bit after what happened in my situation happened, uh, you know, and I text Jack the same thing. I said, Hey man, I text, I said, you know what? This is a tough deal. I respect you as a friend and I, I hope that. Uh, you know, you will be back in the game, uh, you know, as 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 soon as possible. And, and you know, obviously we're cool because Jack, Jack, Jack gets it. Jack's a smart guy. He knows what's going on. And and I mean, I like obviously, you know, he's going to jump at any opportunity that he gets in the future to, to drive no matter what the situation is. But, yeah, tough situation. But we're going to look at the positives. Uh, you know, I have a job to do for this number 30 car. There's a lot of great people on this team. Uh, you know, my chief mechanic, I work I, there. I've worked with before at Foyt. Several of the of the engineers I know quite well. Uh, ben is is there, who's Christian Lungard's engineer. Ben called my race in the 2021 Indy 500, which we all thought we were going to win. Um, so a lot of familiar faces there. Very excited to work with them and have my Jack on the car as well. Um, so yeah, it, it's, it's a wild situation, man. This sport is just, I mean, it, IndyCar, I think has had more drama this year than, than, than most other sports. So it's, it's, it's pretty crazy to be a part of right now. Yeah, no, it is. And, and, you know, it is entertaining, but it does, it does just suck, you know, because especially, uh, you know, in our camp, like I said, I mean, Jack, may have been our favorite interview that we've done on this show. Yeah, uh, I agree. Maybe this year. Um, and then off the air and off the track, I mean, Jack is a dear friend of mine. You know, he's somebody who over the past couple of years, we've gotten to know each other, you know, personally to where we go get beers and we hang out and we're, you know, in fantasy football leagues together and stuff. And so it's just, uh, you know, being the partner with you here on the show, it's like, okay, this is great. Happy for Connor. Uh, you know, like pumped to be able to talk about this, but uh, you know, it's kind of one of those of all the guys, you know, yeah. of all the guys, it had to be, it had to be Jack. So, um, and I mean, we have a full, I have a full minute video of me screaming for Jack making the Indy 500. You know what I mean? Like, I, right. Yeah. yeah. Like, we, you know, we're cheering for old buddy to make the 500. It's just this sport. I, I think this sport, and, and, and I, I don't, I think anyone who supports any other sport could, could probably argue with me, but like, this game that we're playing, I think, is the one of the most ruthless in the world. And it's one of the most difficult ones in the world because of all the outside elements, because of all the things that are yeah, uh, are, are directly related to us as drivers performing, uh, whether it's the environment you're in, whether it's the the vehicle itself that you're driving, whether it's the, uh, you know, your your own mental side. Uh, you know, drivers can get in their own mental, you know, spaces that 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 lead to difficult performances, um, and and things change every race, right? Like there's a mechanical element, there's things technically, you know, the upgrades to the certain parts of the car, this, that, and whatever. Uh, you know, when we get a next, when we get a car next year, an Indy car that has this hybrid element to it that changes the weight, that changes the the center of gravity, that changes how the the weight is distributed distributed. 
you might see a whole different field of good cars. Like it, it, this could be crazy. So there's there there's a lot that can happen in this sport. Uh, and I just if if you're a fan of this sport and you're a fan of and and you see a driver that that's been through a c- tough couple races, be kind to them. <laughs> it's I, this is a I mean we should be mentally built tough enough to handle anything and. I feel like I certainly am now, but um, but it's a it's a it's a it's a brutal game that we're playing for sure. No matter if you're in Formula One, NASCAR, IndyCar, whatever it is, it it almost you know it feels like from the outside people will look at it and it'll be like, oh wow, Connor's taking Jack's girlfriend, you know, <laughs> like. It, Connor's being ruthless, like in high school, you know, it's like maybe like a dude is dating, maybe your buddy's dating a girl, and then all of a sudden you're kind of like, well, I kind of like her, and then she kind of falls for you, and you take a girlfriend, but really that's not it. It's like, no, it's like, it's like if, if the dad of the girl was like, hey, actually, um, you're out, and we're, we're bringing in this new guy, we're bringing in a new guy, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, I guess so it's like, yeah, it, it, well, what I'm saying when I make that analogy, it's actually an interesting is, thing. It's like, yeah, yeah, what I'm saying is it's not like a Connor versus Jack thing where you oh, like, no, absolutely not, you know, or, or was it a Ryan Hunter Ray versus Connor thing? It's a it, it, it's it's out of everyone's control. And then yeah. when that happens, of course, the Ryan Hunter Ray is going to take that opportunity. Of course, the Connor Daly is going to take that opportunity. Absolutely. Um, now, of course, that new guy is going to take the opportunity to date that girl um, because at the end of the day, you're drivers and that's what you want to do. And, you, and and with how ruthless it is, it's just that's how the game is played. It is. Gran Turismo, based on a true story, is a movie about a team of unlikely underdogs, a struggling working class gamer, a failed former race car driver and an idealistic motorsports executive. Together, they risk it all to take on the most elite sport in the world. Directed by Neil Blomkamp, the movie features an incredible cast led by David Harbour alongside Orlando Bloom, Jaimon Hansu, Jerry Halliwell Horner, and Archie Medekwi as Jan Mardenborough. Some of the most famous racing competitions in the world are recreated through the use of actual Nissan GTs, drones, and practical effects. The racing sequences are so realistic that the real-life Jan Mardenborough himself actually served as a stunt driver for the film. This is a movie that needs to be seen on the big screen. It's an inspiring, thrilling, and action-packed movie that proves nothing is impossible when you're fueled from within. Gran Turismo, based on a true story, is exclusively in movie theaters this August 25th with special sneak previews this weekend. Get your tickets today. Rated PG-13. Check out the trailer. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Oh, shut up! I'm not missing my race. Oh, I'm going to puke. Don't look at my dad's car. Yes, we're not going to jail! <laughs> oh, crap. Listen, son. You think you're going to play a stupid video game about cars and you're going to become a race car driver? All I ever wanted to do is be a racer. I'm doing it. The 10 of you are the best Gran Turismo players in the world. Now is your chance to race real cars. This is insane. It's not going to work. The guys who race are elite athletes. Your kids are scrawny little gamer kids. That's where you come in. Hmm. So you think you can do the impossible. I'm here to prove that you can't. You get tired, you get sloppy. You get sloppy, you get hurt. Then you lose races. You puked on my lawn. I know what I'm doing. I'm not afraid. I've raced this track a thousand times in the game. Let me drive it my way. That was actually pretty great. We have a newcomer this year. His presence is shaking the foundation of the sport. Since the major leagues, the other drivers, your pit crew are going to hate you. Much easier with a joystick, isn't it? I can't see anything. Not sure if I can do this. Most people can't. I got a feeling you're not most people. If I lose, I lose more than just a race. So I'm not gonna quit. You've gotta prove to everyone. 
that you alone. You've raced it, what, like a thousand times? Now you just gotta do it in real life. You can hate me. Gran Turismo, based on a true story. But I won't stop now. Yeah, and 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 it's you know a lot like when you know an experience like I, I'm experienced now in this game, right? So you know you 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 don't look these team owners know a lot more than uh you know than the than the casual fan that's like, hey, well Connor uh isn't full time or he finished 17th at Iowa or whatever, but like team owners know to look deeper, right? They know to look, hey, like this is going to be our uh, the best chase best case scenario, and realistically. When it comes to oval experience right now, and and the results that I do have on ovals, and and the the pace that I've got on ovals, um, you know, I, I I I do appreciate that chance. It's hard to it's hard to go with a rookie for an oval race. Uh, you know, yeah. I know they have uh, several situations. I'm sure in their future that they you know that they're that they're looking at. Um, but again, can't speak too much to the details other than uh, just excited to work with the you know this team. Um, it's it's a it's a great opportunity for me. Uh, you know, St. Louis is going to be a, a a very interesting race, considering I believe we have to run uh, a set of the green tires, the alternate compound, and uh, and the primary tires as well. The first time that's ever happened at an oval, so that, you know a lot of potential for interesting results there. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it's been an interesting week. Every day has been crazy, busy, and different. You know, we got the rally cross thing coming up. I'm I'm now. You know, I'm going over, uh, do, you know, trying to do some sim work for uh, for Ray Hall and and then straight to the SRX commentary and then flying straight to Salt Lake City to do two races in the in the route in the Nitro Cross series, uh, which you can watch this weekend live on Rumble. Um, and then, yeah, and then back here on uh, on in a matter of four days, five days to, uh, you know, to get ready for you know the, the week of St. Louis. Mm -hmm.